a bullish divergence occurs when the price makes a lower low while the indicator or the oscillator to be correct makes a higher low so personally when i trade divergences i love to rely on rsi the relative strength index i believe it's one of the most powerful indicators there is in trading in general so i will use this one okay and as you can see i just added rsi indicator on my charts and if i just draw a nice line towards the upside on the RSI we can actually see a nice trend towards the upside and following this trend line it's making new higher lows over here now all we need to do is the same thing on our chart so let's just add this line just over here make it a little bit nicer and cleaner pretty much showing a strong downtrend because every time the market is making new lower lows just over here a nice little push exhaustion push exhaustion push and that's great because when we combine it with the rsi this is perfect bullish divergence so then all you need is nice little price action from the candlesticks so if we try to enter a nice long position look at this bullish engulfing candlestick closure of this nice little low we do believe that there's going to be a nice push towards the upside probably retesting this previous area of sensitivity our regular bullish divergence is perfect let's see what happens with the trade so we do get stopped out just by a little bit but this would have been pretty much near perfect trade and even though on this occasion it stopped us out it still would have reached around 90 pips profit at that point you more than likely would have moved your stop loss to entry so you wouldn't have lost anything and you probably would have closed a portion of your position to collect some profits that's what normal trading is like so this i definitely still consider a very profitable trading divergence now there's many methods and secrets how to trade divergence and make it even better so i'll show that a little bit later but let me show you now a bearish divergence example okay very similar a bearish divergence occurs when the price chart pretty much is making higher highs while the oscillator whether it's rsi macd or stochastic is making lower highs this of course suggests that buying pressure is weakening and there could be a trend reversal so let's take a look okay so the first thing you see a nice bearish divergence on the rsi pretty much at the top which is being overbought and then simply makes a lower high as well well on the charts we can actually see the charts making new highs every single time so this is not the best chart in the world but we can definitely spot as you can see this was the previous high this was a new one so the first line is definitely a little bit lower than the second one which means it's a great bearish divergence now all we need to do is wait for a nice turnaround point so i believe this is a great one I look at this beautiful hammer candlestick pretty much showing that there's a lot of selling pressure just off here that's why the wick is so big and now there's a strong likelihood that there could be a lot of selling pressure coming in so let's see so although it goes up a little bit for the second time it does not matter it definitely reaches our take profit low and this would have been a beautiful trade okay so now you pretty much know what bullish and bearish divergence is however there's two more and they are called the hidden divergences so the previous divergence techniques we discussed was all about reversal trading these two following hidden divergences are all about trend continuation let's take a look okay so for bullish hidden divergence we need to use different indicator rather than rsi rsi is perfect and if you can find a hidden divergence it's gonna give you a very profitable trade however these signals are once in a blue moon and they're just not practical in everyday trading that's why i like using the stochastic rsi to find hidden divergences and price continuation so in this example i already have my stochastic rsi there we go as you can see a nice little drop down for the stochastic the first line is a little bit higher than the second one the second one indicates that there's been a lot of selling pressure and likely there's going to be a turnaround point towards the upside now if we take a look at our charts the same thing is happening over here a nice little trend towards the upside pretty much making new high every single time and what's happening currently a nice bullish engulfing candlestick just off here this is a perfect trading opportunity to retest the previous top level so if we just enter a trade our target 
somewhere around here because this was the previous high right that's where you should uh, potentially take some of your profits stop loss can be somewhere a little bit below the line the trend line something like that it could be like this if you want i like keeping my stop loss a little bit bigger minimum 30 pips just to let the market play about but it's totally up to you how you do it and let's see what happens with this trade so it definitely goes towards the upside and reaches our take profit low and then pretty much it just bounced off and actually crossed our trend line and went towards the downside pretty much predicted this continuation nice little trade towards the upside for a bullish divergence okay again let's take a look at the hidden bearish divergence now look at this small little line on the stochastic RSI same thing on the chart some people would say the line is not small it's the perfect size we can also see how we would take this position so if we had a nice bearish engulfing candlestick or just a nice bearish big candlestick making a new low as well so if we have a look and zoom right in this nice little candlestick is making a new low which straight away suggests that this is the hidden bearish divergence and very very likely there's going to be a trend continuation towards the downside so let's just see what happens and instantly the market does react and just continue to drop down which you could have definitely spotted and made a lot of money if you knew a little bit about divergence okay now let's talk about some divergence mistakes i see most people make and we really need to sort them out to make it a hundred dollars per day right first one is trading divergences without a confirmation so let's take a quick glance on our rsi indicator and as we can see it's making a new higher low and what's happening on the charts it's making new lower lows as well this is a great bullish divergence however what's missing on this chart well we don't have a nice candlestick confirmation right towards the upside there's nothing confirming the trade at the moment so just because we have this line over here doesn't exactly mean it's gonna just bounce back suddenly it could just continue dropping down because the RSI is not fully exhausted yet right it's not yet oversold so we could see a huge push towards the downside before we see a push towards the upside and react towards that bullish divergence that's why we need a candlestick confirmation closure to confirm there is buying pressure and the market won't just dip down because you're against the trend you have to find confirmation otherwise no bueno so let's take a look at what happens with this trade so we do get a nice bullish engulfing candlestick straight away this means it could be a good trade towards the upside because we have our bullish divergence right we got our confirmation we can set up our take profit and stop loss levels so this should do and let's see what happens it does move towards the upside and as we can see around 90 90 pips profit before it continues dropping down but this straight away brings me to another point and then the mistake i see most traders make there's actually two mistakes if you really think about it ignoring the trend so if you ignore the bearish trend that has been happening for a while right and you're buying you have to be careful because at some point there's going to be a lot of selling pressure and we might start dipping down so that's the first thing but there's another thing right where do you exit your trade so trading with one indicator is the mistake if you trade only with one oscillator you will never be profitable i can guarantee it. even if you're really good at price action which i am personally you can see it right you should be closing off just over here because it's a nice area of resistance the moving averages will perfect that because they actually react real time with the candlestick so we will show you a more accurate resistance line in this case so personally i like using the 20 and 50 moving averages this would prevent me from doing silly mistakes look at this so once it broke the 20 and 50 moving averages just off here i would have collected my profits just around this area zone would have been 77 pips and 07 pip as well which is beautiful 777 and i would have closed the trade fully because i know the two moving averages have been broken i don't know what's gonna happen now whether it's gonna continue pushing up or down i don't know the divergence is finished so that's why it's super important to not make this mistake always keep in mind where is the trend direction on the higher time frames if everything's trending down monthly weekly daily time frames and the four hourly suddenly going up you can bet that it will react 
with the moving averages and likely continue its higher time frame trend and the last thing i want to mention which is super important is risk management not managing your risks properly will screw you over in forex i can guarantee it you can have the best strategy in the world but if you don't know where to exit and manage your risk properly you will never ever make money in forex i can guarantee it so how do we prevent this from happening let's take a look so if we saw a move towards the upside let's say we entered here i would have closed around 25 pips to maybe 30 pips just over here because it would be touching the 20 moving average right since it's one of the moving averages imagine it's like a resistance line number one it's touching the resistance line number one i'm collecting some profits 33 profits banked maybe close if you have one lot size position close 0.5 lot size straight away and forget about it if you want to continue trading maybe you believe it's gonna bounce off the 50 line you can continue trading and once it reaches the 50 line close off your trading position then if you want to risk it leave a 0.10 lot size maybe there's some important news gross domestic product that's gonna you know potentially spike your trade further and you can collect even more pips but generally use the moving averages as resistance lines so resistance one resistance two and collect your profits that way always collect your profits don't let anyone tell you bullshit risk reward i can guarantee you they will say something like this 2.3 and wait it out what's the chances that the market will just continue going up forever for 70 pips and you will collect the huge amount of money there's very slim chance and how disappointed will you be let's say you want 100 pips let's say something like this and you already was that like 70 pips in profit and then what happens it just drops down like that you would be gutted you would be so pissed off that you didn't close off a portion of your position that's why it's super important to risk manage and this was divergence my name's elders welcome to my channel and if you want to join our discord community or telegram links down below and watch this video next because you'll probably learn a lot and actually learn how to trade on your own like a boss